Hey guys, Legonius here. Welcome back. Today we're starting a new episode of LAU Atlas, which is going to be called Heru Specs. Heru Specs is going to be a really alien world, and we're going to document one of our builds for the episode. So this is our kind of build journal entry number one. We've got the base plate set up for the build, and I've done a real rough draft of what I want kind of like the shoreline to be. Uh, it's definitely not set in stone. Uh, the water here is going to be trans orange. So we uh, don't know, how, we have 1,700 of them, more or less, and that should cover, you know, 3,400 studs. And I didn't feel like counting them all, so we're going to see what the supplies look like as we get this filled in here, if we're going to be able to achieve that. Speaking of those trans orange tiles, we picked those all up from Big B Bricks and Bricks Anywhere. Big special thanks to them. We also ordered lots of kind of unique colored parts to help make this alien world more alien. Okay, so the first step of this build, we're gonna work on the water part. Uh, we're not gonna just put the trans orange tile down directly on the base plate. We wanna kind of make a, what we call like a gradient of colors so we can create different looks of depth within the water. So here's a, the two different kind of gradient scales we tried out. We had the uh, white, gray, black, and then we tried to do one that matched the tile a little better with like white, yellow, orange, red, and maroon. And after seeing both of them, we definitely decided to go with the, uh, the yellow, orange, red to put the gradient down underneath the tile. So we're gonna get started on that. So we got the color down that's going to go underneath the tile. This will help kind of make it lighter and darker, even though it's the same color, which will create kind of the illusion that there's different depths within this little cove here. Interesting enough, it kind of looks like lava with the colors we chose, but that's not, not what our intention is. So we'll cover this up with some trans orange tile and see how it turns out. Okay, so there we go. There's our little cove made out of kind of an orangish water. I think the gradient looks pretty good. Uh, it makes it kind of look like there's different depths within the cove. So it's kind of deeper in the channels here and maybe in this little middle pocket, but as it gets closer to the edge and where some of the islands kind of connect, uh, it's a little bit more shallow, kind of like little sandbars. I think it could have been a little bit better if I had more orange, uh, not the trans orange, just like the regular orange, because the it would make a little smoother transition between the yellow and red, but I just didn't have enough. It didn't work out, so this will work for now. I like it. Looks good. This is the end of build journal number one. Next time we'll be filling out the train, kind of getting that built up and get it ready for ready for some buildings and foliage and mini figs and whatnot. So we've got to do the mainland here and these two little islands out here. So see you next time.